Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Wednesday, it's the 3rd of June already, and uh, it's cloudy and 79 here in the square, and we're looking at cloudy and 90 uh, for today. Then on uh, Thursday, partly cloudy and 89. Friday, partly cloudy and 90. And then we have a sunny weekend, sunny Saturday and Sunday. 91 on uh, Saturday, 90 on Sunday. And then back to partly cloudy on Monday with a temperature of 86. <coughs> we want to wish a happy birthday to Mary Green, we hope you have a great birthday today. It seems like a nice day for a birthday. And we have none for tomorrow to announce. <clears throat> now we have a couple of uh, events and things that happened in the city that we'll talk about. The city of St. John is having a planning meeting to look at city goals and concerns about the future and they're inviting everybody from St. John to come to the county annex on Saturday the 23rd and I have, don't think they have established exactly what time that's going to be but Saturday the 23rd at the county annex and the mayor is asking for as many people as can to come and let them know what they're thinking about and their ideas for the plans for the future of the city. And this is a good time now for everybody who has a complaint that they never tell us what they're doing and they don't care what we think. So if you want to be able to say that, then you have to go to the meeting or else uh, you're not being honest. <clears throat> well, also, our dentist, Dr. Joe Rosenberg, had a serious fall in Manhattan, trimming a tree, and I guess he fell quite a distance into a high pavement, and it's going to take him at least three months and maybe six estimated for a recovery. There's an article with more of the information in this week's uh, St. John News, so you should check that out. And uh, they have said uh, don't send flowers because they don't let him in the room where he is, but he would appreciate cards. And I would say uh, when you're at home or in church or wherever you are, uh, say a prayer for Dr. Joe Rosenberg. Uh, he really hurt himself very badly. All right, now we're back to the Recreation Commission. <clears throat> and uh, they're having pizza and a movie, Saturday the 13th. And uh, they're going to go to the Ritz Theater and see Hot Pursuit. So they have pizza and poppies at 5.30. Then they go uh, to the Stafford Theater at 6.45, they leave. And they're done by 10 o'clock, and the fee is $25 for the pizza, the movie, and the popcorn. And I guess for the gasoline, which shouldn't be too much going just to sap it in that. Well, then on uh, Tuesday the 23rd, they have the lunch punch, and they will be going to the mustard seed in Bueller. And they leave at 8 and stop at Adrian's after breakfast and return to John St. John early in the afternoon. And it's $10 travel and you've got to pay for your own lunch. And then on the 30th they have the Dodge City Casino trip, which I know is popular with many people. And you know they leave at 8 and they leave the casino at 2 and they're home at 3.30. And again, they have a big note at the bottom of the pamphlet here. All trips subject to weather forecasts. If it's too hot or too windy, the trip can be canceled. And uh, 
Now, uh, we, I don't think we have this Maxwell uh, menu yet. I'm surprised at that. I hope no one's ill over there. Uh, but today, at the uh, Sunflower Scholarship Meal for Seniors, is baked chicken and whipped sweet potatoes. Sounds like a good thing. Then they're having Parmesan baked fish on Thursday and parsley noodles and liver lentils and fried potatoes on Friday. And so the seniors have no excuse to be underfed in uh, St. John or in Maxville either. Well, finally, uh, there's a community blood drive Friday, June 12th from 11 to 4. And it's in the Oddfellows Gym at 700 East 1st Street. And you can make an appointment by calling 800 Red Cross. Or you can do it on the internet. And I think you can just show up too and for the blood drive. So that's another important event to pay attention to. And that's all the news announcements we have for you right now. The word of the day is a kind of serious one. A temper is a valuable possession. Don't lose yours. This is Jim Blakey, hoping you have a great Wednesday.